So I have another question. So we did speak about this, right? For being fit, yes, strength training, everything is important. But there's also something that we spoke very, very um, keenly and we kind of like, it was like epiphany moment mm -hmm. for both of us. Consistency and then small activities on mm -hmm. a regular interval. Mm -hmm. uh, can you shed some light on that? And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. So uh, I think consistency is important in anything in life, right? Whatever you do, if you're consistent only, you'll get good at it. That is what I believe in. Uh, let's say even in the small things, right? If, if you're consistent uh, enough, you'll, you will see results. Mm -hmm. If you're consistent enough in cooking, you'll, you'll be a good cook. If you're consistent enough in uh, creating a piece of art, one day it will, it will, it will, it will hit. And also like we spoke about breaking down things. Uh, if, if, if I have to connect it with the fitness industry, like people people say that they don't have time to work out. People say, big thing. Big I don't have time to work. I don't have time to work. Even though if it's like just 30 minutes of your day. And like right now, being a full time student and working part time and you know, doing all this stuff, sometimes even I find it difficult. I, I mean, I, I get it. I'm not blaming anyone because like you might say, gym is like 15 minutes away from your house. Getting ready for the gym is 15 minutes. Getting right. in the car and driving is another 15 minutes. And you work out there half an hour. Then you drive back another 50, there's an hour and a half to drop, right? Yeah. So I that's, yeah. that's true. But then I think even then, like, you know, then then also we'll have to, you know, take a step back and look at what can be done. Mm -hmm. So even a good 15 minutes workout in the house is good. You don't need to go to the gym every day. So we can do, we, we can work it out in and along. But uh, I feel if you're talking about breaking down activities, I think we've spoken about it. Uh, for somebody who doesn't have a time, like, can I borrow one minute of your time? Can I just do one minute plank every Amazing. hour? Every hour or every two say, hours? Yeah, every two hours. And you, uh, you can have definitely time, pull out one minute in every one hour. minute in every hour. Or can I do like 10, 15 push ups in like in, in every hour of work or uh, for every time I just set an alarm for 45 minutes? Every, it's 30 every, seconds, every, 40 yeah, seconds. 40 30. seconds. I just do push ups and I come back and sit. So, uh, you start with like one minute an hour and then you go, you go to two minutes an hour and then in, in a minute, if you, if you do it in, in a day, if you do it eight for hours. Time, eight hours, you have eight, eight minutes of solid planks. Yeah. 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 And even with your push-ups, you, at the end of the day, you have somewhere you have hit around like I think hundred push-ups if you do it at 10 every hour. So even like, you know, for somebody who says that I'm working for 12 hours a day or whatever, yeah, sometimes, you know, it's more to do with mental stress and, you know, the things around your this thing, but we just can't neglect the physical aspect of it. Right. So, Time and again, like I've, I've, I've been guilty of that too. Like I work like crazy, like I work like a full-time job, which takes up like almost 10 to 12 hours of the day. And I do my podcasting on weekends and most of my editing is done on weekends. So when I think about it, it's difficult. But when, when we spoke about it and we started like this, this, we started talking when I had a back pain. Mm -hmm. And I had to like do planks and strengthen my back. I'm like, it takes only like five minutes of plank every day. And I can do that like one minute interval every hour. And then you were doing push-ups in your part-time job. Yeah, part -time. If I'm not wrong, exactly. every one hour you yeah, go yeah, back. I used to go back and, and do 10 push-ups, 15 push-ups, come and just sit up, right? So these kind of things, consistency and breakdown, like these small things really, really help, right? Yeah, they, they, uh, I think they take you a long way. Yeah. Like, uh, and then if you, it says what, 21 days to make it a habit. Yeah, yeah 21, so, 20, the magic 21. Yeah, the magic 21. So you keep doing it and then it becomes a habit and then suddenly you're good at it. And then Absolutely. You look for your next challenge. But yeah, I think uh, consistency is something, even with our practices, right? If we practice, yeah. if we practice, we perform good in cricket too. The more Correct. consistent we are, um, yeah. the better we perform. So Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Vignesh is a big example. Yeah, Whenever he practices, his bowling is unplayable. Whenever he doesn't, like people can go after him. Yeah, and he's all over the place. But whenever he practices, he's like right on point. Dude, whenever he, he practices, he's like, his six balls are on point and he at least gets a wicket every single over. over exactly. When so he's it, it, it makes a lot of, it makes a lot of difference. Um, you know, sometimes it's like, just getting up and doing it is the hard part. Once yeah. you have, once you've got up and you're there, once you show up, 
it's half of the it's half, half of the, the game. Half of the game. Half of the game. You showing up is half of the game, and then you know, it's, it's yeah, just, yeah. Um, I think those are the questions that I had about uh, mostly fitness and you know exercise and stuff.